main inspiration is the city of New York and uh, the colorful and, and glamorous women who live in this city. Our entire goal in creating collection is creating something that makes brides look and feel beautiful on their wedding day. So we work with brides at trunk shows and actually a lot of our inspiration comes from them. It's very important to us how brides feel in our gowns. I really focused on the international bride, the bride who maybe is getting married in Europe or in the tropics or, or destination in America or just at home. We're backstage here at Innes de Santo Bridal Week in New York City. Looks a little bit Audrey Hepburn was my inspiration. It, that didn't come from the stylist or the designer, but I kind of loved the idea of taking it back to the 50s with the bridal. We're creating these sort of tall chignon buns, really texturized, soft, using the base of a well X strong mousse give the hair a lot of fatness and thickness to work makes it easy to work with. I wanted the girls to feel pretty. I wanted it to be soft and feminine rather than too stiff and bridal. Make it a bit younger and more fun. We're sort of asking the girls which way, which actually which way do you wear your hair? To the right, which is that way, that way. Okay, so I'm going to go with her rather than fighting her. Um, which makes it interesting. We've created these buns and then what we've done is we've sprayed up these huge bunches of pearls of all sorts of different colors and we're going to pick out and I think Ashley's wearing an all silver dress isn't it? With silver pearls so I think we're going to go clash and mix silver and gold and go gold. Design is up for a bit of adventure and having some fun so we're going to go for it. So the look today is all about glamour. It's all about a grand glamour, but with a very simplistic look to it. So the cheek is very glowy, the lips are very bitten, but the eyes, it's all about actually a, a full lash. It's all about a huge lash, just like very glamorous and very grand. It's more about just like pretty everyday look, but that has that like very regal look to it. The look today is pearls, it is pearls. If you look at the hair, there is a bun with these big chunky pearls and then it goes into small pearls. The makeup is very light and then of course with the nails, what we're doing is a pearl on each finger at the cuticle, at the base of the cuticle. But what's really fun this season is that we're going up the middle finger on the right hand from big to small pearls. I'm gluing the pearls on the nail plate However, with the hands, we use an eyelash glue. We use a simple eyelash glue. The main inspiration is the city of New York and uh, the colorful and, and glamorous women who live in this city. New York means a lot to me because it's, uh, it's so fascinated and, and it's different than other cities and it's, it has that glamorous. You can see signature pearls, beading, embroideries, lace, and colors. I love colors. You see it's many, many colors, the gold, the pink. I think of, of Baba Boom when I see Inez de Santo. She really straddles a very wide breadth of customers. She can dress, you know, your little princess, but she can also dress the red carpet siren, and she's a master of that. She really is.
Mrs. Santos is very glamorous. She knows how to design for a woman's body. It's usually very sexy. She can really select a dress that really fits a woman's personality, which is so nice. If you're fortunate enough to have her at a trunk show and she can select a dress for you. Beautiful, beautiful presentation of going just beyond what we feel in this industry, what fashion can really go to a whole new dimension when you think, how can you better yourselves or how can you, how can you elaborate on the white dress better than this? We have different silhouettes. Okay? We have something a little bit more romantic, a, a little bit sexy, not so much. And, and the lace, which is, uh, I consider this collection very elegant. For me, I want to see the beautiful lace fitted mermaid dresses with exaggerated trains. I want, and I want to see big ball gowns. That's why I really focus on Anita Santo. It's really her fit. It's, it's how curvaceous the girl looks in her dresses is really what I think about when I think about Inez Sanchez. And she also does sparkle. She also does show skin as well. She likes the girls mostly are usually fairly sexy, I would say, very glamorous. Everything is new for me. The silhouette, the pants is new, the new techniques with the embroideries and different stones, colors. That is the difference, that's why I use the gold. The beating is in gold and it's the gold lame. but it's very romantic and very elegant, and who understand fashion. For this beauty, it's really just all about clean, gorgeous skin. We're encasing the eye in a beautiful white line and then just pairing it up with some amazing, um, close your eyes, uh, iridescence. So the whole eye is just a, kind of like glowing and it really takes the, uh, the focus into the top of the face and it, it's like reflecting on the dress, you know, the different colors that are in the dress onto the eye, tying it in with a really pop of bright color on the lips. I love this look. It really focuses on the beauty of the, the model and you know that's exactly what you want on your bridal day, right? The inspiration is a slightly irreverent because you know wedding, there's always a bit of a religiousness in the, on, the, on the weddings of all kinds, well, all sorts. It's fascinating but this uh, show, the hands made and tell, which I cannot watch <laughs> more than three episodes. And uh, there's a bit of that, you know, like the, there's a bit of a bandeau here, it's, it's very proper, ponytail, bandeau underneath, covering the ears. It's 
that's a bit more like chastity kind of way. So it's something like that, that, that feel, right? You know, people are really gonna see the gown and not the hair, but the hair would be the great accessory for the, for the gown, no matter what gown it is. I'm pretty confident it's gonna suit everyone, for sure, yeah. So our Fall Winter 2018 collection is drama by Silhouette, Simplicity, and Embellishment. We're using voluminous silhouettes, linear beadwork, 3D flowers, and floral laces to complement modern and architectural styles. Well, we're kind of known for our ball gowns. We're mixing it up this season. We have a gorgeous asymmetric ball gown that we're really excited to show. Obviously, fit and flare is always a really popular silhouette, but I'd say that you know we're known specifically for our ball gowns. As a whole, we wanted to make the show kind of look one, so we found this raw industrial space, and we wanted to really play it up by bringing in this incredible tree here. So we found, like, this played it up. It made this rawness even edgier. We're using mylar marquise leaves to create this deconstructed tree in the center of the room, and then we're complementing the um, girls with, with a white eyeliner and just kind of giving us really edgy look to the show. I thought it was fabulous. The dress is, you know, he has such a beautiful fabrication. It's kind of a cream color, uh, just slightly off-white, and the structure of his dresses are just really strong. The silhouettes are strong, and uh, he has a really strong point of view, so I, I just enjoyed it very much. And the set and the setting was can't be beat, so I'm very happy. We're happy. Our entire goal in creating collection is creating something that makes brides look and feel beautiful on their wedding day. So we work with brides at trunk shows and actually a lot of our inspiration comes from them themselves and trying them dresses on them and getting feedback on, on shape and fit. So absolutely, it's very important to us how brides feel in our gowns. I thought Justin did a fabulous job. It was very modern. The collection was very clean. I love the look with a little collar. It was adorable. I love the sheer organza jackets. And it was very understated and elegant. And I, it looks like he's taking it in a new direction. And I'm very happy for him. I really love the, uh, the linear beadwork we worked on this season. I think it's very unconventional and kind of edgy. So I think that's something that you should definitely look for on the runway today. We have it on the asymmetric ball gown at the waist, and it's actually shaped in a faux bow. It's really a beautiful detail. And then also on the, an illusion back that we'll be showing today. So it's kind of in, in two different ways. There was a big, a huge trend in the last few years on, you know, illusion and nude look, and we're kind of trying to move away from that slightly to give something more sophisticated. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was great. Very sparkly. I loved the jumpsuit. That was my favorite look. Classic with a twist. I 
think the key is really keeping an open mind. You know, a bride might have an idea of what will look good on them, but this is really the first time, or most of the time, it's the first time that they're trying on a, a ball gown or a wedding dress. So have an open mind, find a stylist that you feel comfortable with, and really let her guide you through the process because they're ex very experienced. They've worked with so many brides and really know what looks, looks best on each individual. I think we're always involving with the trends and just trying to trying to be new and different and keep elevating the collection and, and, and show beautiful, beautiful things to, to brides around the world. Today we're doing hair for the Dennis Basso show. So the look is a nice clean sleek bun and it's twisted clockwise so that everyone's hair is nice and consistent and it's a look that is very easy for all brides and it's a look that goes with any dress so it's, it's pretty it's simple and classic and really you can go across the board for any bride. I would say she's a classic woman um, I'd say she's elegant and I think the hair really suits this. The look is a uh, very soft, glowy, peachy nectar, uh, warm, peach cheeks, a little bit of nectar and peach on the eyes with a little hint of rose, a uh, light brown liner, just keeping everything neutral and warm and glowy so that when the girls are in their white dress, they're just glowing and radiant. This collection in particular for 2018, I really focused on the international bride. The bride who maybe is getting married in Europe or in the tropics or, or destination in America or just at home. So the collection is varied, from ball gowns to go down a big cathedral. Or a slim, sexy silhouette to be worn in the tropics. So I really thought about all different bras and did sort of a combination of them. It's a very varied assortment, which I think is exciting. So we're using this year Duchess satin, tulle, beautiful embroidered lace, and hand beading and embellishment on a lot of the uh, gowns. Also, we've worked in combinations, so some of the gowns are tulle and satin, or ganza and satin, so to have a, an interesting tone, sort of a little bit of a mixed media feeling, modern.
like to show the gowns just with the gowns with a beautiful shoe. So I'm not so involved with jewelry or any kind of extra embellishment. I think the bride then takes that gown and makes it her own by doing that. They're like children, so I designed many of them, and then we narrowed it down. So everyone that makes the cut for the show ultimately is sort of a favorite. You know, one is, I love, I have the favorite ball gown, the favorite simple sleek dress, you know, so they're in each category, there's like a, a golden child. Besides being a bridal designer, we are, like I have a company with, with a big boutique on Madison Avenue, we're in Harrods in London, we're in department stores around the world. So we're designing for a woman who's sophisticated. She understands fashion, she's reading the fashion magazines. coming specifically to look for a Dennis Basso dress. I think she's focused on, on that. this collection, I'm finaleing with one veil that matches the gown. I also like a simple veil because the dresses that I do are actually very detailed and I sometimes think that the veil is too much, it fights with the dress. It's a sophisticated brand, it's modern, with a little twist of traditional value mixed in.